Jim, a better report, does this change the stimulus debate in Washington? It, maybe people breathe a little bit easier, but frankly, it doesn't really change what's driving a lot of this debate, which is a frustration with a slow recovery and lots of unemployment. And uh, that's what voters care about, and that's why I imagine Washington doesn't change much, uh, the debate in Washington. And we welcome everyone on Bloomberg Television worldwide. Jim Glassman of J.P. Morgan, our senior economist, Lachman Ajathan of Economic Cycle uh, Research Institute. Lachman, when you, when you look at this, and you've been really good about non-double dip, mm -hmm. this really pushes against double dip, doesn't it? Uh, it does. However, this report is coincident. It doesn't. There's a few things in here that are forward-looking, uh, but by this and large, this is not a coincident report for politicians. For politicians, yeah. it isn't. <laughs> right. yeah. uh, for business cycle forecasters, okay, like where where is this cycle headed? What's the risk of a double dip? I don't know that this is a game changer. We still have leading indicators um, that have gone flat. Uh, the jury is still out there, and um, depends now if if this report has a material impact on confidence particularly on business manager confidence and consumers too, then that's a real thing. And that's, that's not something that we can discount here. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, Jim, you know, a lot's been made of how small business adds most of the new jobs in the economy. Right. And we keep hearing the word uncertainty about small business, mainly having to do with tax policy in Washington. Uh, what's going to happen? What's your best guess? Well, I hope what uh, we, we understand that, and we understand how tax policy does affect small businesses and an incentive to hire and take risk. If these small businesses are folks who are affected, uh, they may be at the top end of the tax bracket also, and they are affected by what's going on. This is where a lot of the job growth takes place. So, yeah, Of course, and a lot of small business people run the business on their personal tax return. That's right. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, folks, we it's a jargon-free earth for all of you on radio or TV. This underemployment rate, this all-in unemployment rate, it's not a good statistic, Lachman. 16.7%. Well, no. It's almost as bad as where it was in April, and we're doing this in sub-2% GDP. Okay, it Are is we going to go point. through 17% on that? Yeah. Now, first, just to explain, if you're not an economics <laughs> geek, uh, that is the people who are unemployed, the people who are working part-time but want to work full-time, and the people who've given up. That's where right. that Also, all... the people that hate their job like me. <laughs> I mean, we yeah. may go back. There's a lot of backing and filling here, but I doubt that we're going to go back to the peaks that were seen in these rates, right. including the, the long-term unemployment rate, or the under the, the U6, uh, back in the last fall. I don't think, I think that peak is behind us because we are in a real recovery, as disappointing as it may be to the people who remain unemployed. And the long-term unemployed is speaking to a structural problem that will not right. be cured by this recovery. Did That's you? Don't be confused by that. Jim, yeah. we've got Austin Goolsby on here in the 9 o'clock hour from the White House. If you could ask him or the president a question, what would you ask him right now? Well, I would, I would say, would it be useful to start taking a more pro-business kind of stance? I mean, the economy is doing fine. They've done a lot. They've done enough on the policy side. And right now, they need to do more to cheerlead, to encourage the business community that they, they see it's in their interest to uh, lessen uncertainty to promote, you know, animal spirits, really.